In this best class in Lost Ark closed beta guide, I'm going to discuss the classes that will be released in the North America and European regions during the closed beta. I'll also talk about the qualities which make them unique together with the best class that fits your playstyle. The game features five base classes with 15 advanced classes. If you're new to Lost Ark and you've been meaning to learn more about them, then this guide is for you. Lost Ark features the following five classes, Warrior, Martial Artist, Gunner, Mage, and Assassin. Note that they're not boxed into specific roles or the Holy Trinity, such as pure damage dealers, healers, and tanks. In fact, what's unique about them is they're all able to deal enough damage to be considerable harm to enemies while protecting and supporting the party. When selecting a class, you can narrow down your decision by determining if you prefer to play as a melee or ranged focused character. Of the five base classes in Lost Ark, only the Gunner and Mage focus on ranged combat, whereas the rest are melee based. The exceptions to this are the Soul Fist and Shadow Hunter advanced classes, which are a mix of ranged and melee combat. Each of these five classes has their own advanced classes that you can further specialize in when you reach level 10. What you have to remember is once you've chosen the advanced class for your character, you won't be able to undo it. There is no way to switch to a different class in Lost Ark should you wish to change your mind at any point in time. This is also part of the reason why alternate characters exist, so you can experience the other advanced classes as well. For advanced classes, there's a tripod system that lets you customize the characteristics and attributes of a single skill in three different ways to significantly alter your playstyle. For instance, if you're a Berserker of the Warrior class, and you wish to enhance the Hellblade skill, you can do so by selecting Training Result, Melt, and Ground Flip. As a result, you not only lengthen the skill's range of impact, but you also considerably boost the overall damage you inflict while knocking back enemies away from you. Furthermore, Respecting won't cost you extra skill points, so you're free to do it whenever you want, and this should remind players a bit of Wilson if you're familiar at all with that game. You'll also notice that most of the skills in Lost Ark involve AoE, and this is due to Lost Ark's ARPG combat style where you kill multiple groups of enemies at once. It goes without saying that some classes have more powerful AoE skills compared to others, but this doesn't diminish their overall capabilities. Choosing the right class for you is ultimately about the type of playstyle you enjoy as opposed to picking out the strongest one for PvE and PvP activities. In the next sections, I'll be going through the base classes, their corresponding advanced classes, and the best ones to start with if you're a beginner in Lost Ark. If you're interested in wearing heavy armor and playing as a tank while dealing massive melee damage, then the Warrior is the right class for you. Warriors have three advanced classes, which are Berserker, Paladin, and Gunlancer. Berserkers wield great swords that let them inflict huge damage from a safer range. What sets them apart from the other Warrior advanced classes is they're straightforward to learn, making Berserkers the best Warrior advanced class to play if you're a beginner in Lost Ark. Moreover, Berserkers cast buffs to improve their allies' damage as well as their own critical damage. You do have to be quite cautious since they're one of the slower classes in terms of mobility, but they're able to compensate for this by dealing heavy AoE damage. If you're an aggressive player who always runs towards monsters to kill them outright, then consider choosing the Berserker. Paladins wield a one-handed sword to deal damage together with a book to activate support skills. They're not only great at supporting the party, but they're also adept when it comes to crowd control. Paladins are not as beginner-friendly as Berserkers since you must have enough environmental and game knowledge to know when to cast support skills, such as heals and buffs. Picking the right moments are crucial since enemies can easily overwhelm you and your party since they move quickly. You also have to consider the cooldowns of these skills because you can't simply spam them when you need them. However, if you're used to supporting your party and other RPGs on top of inflicting offensive abilities, then the Paladin may be a challenging and interesting class for you. Gun Lancers use a Gun Lance with a shield to aid them in effectively fulfilling the tank role. They're considered the tankiest class in the game due to their high HP, armor rating, and defensive skills, and as such, they always stay on the front line. Gun Lancers not only have the ability to block most of the enemy's moves, but they also have the skills to aggro and manage threat on them. Although they're still able to deal damage, it won't be as much as some other classes, which is fine since they specialize in protecting allies anyway. Similar to Paladins, you need to be precise in terms of the optimal time to cast your taunts and group abilities in order to effectively distract your opponents. The Gun Lancer is the best class if you wish to play as the traditional tank. If you're the type of player who wants to execute rapid movements up close by making use of brawler-type combos, then the Martial Artist may be the right base class for you. It has four advanced classes, namely the Striker, War Dancer, Scrapper, and Soul Fist. Strikers wield elemental gauntlets that allow you to perform fast kicks and aerial combos. Additionally, these gauntlets can store energy to unleash massive damage against a group of enemies. Strikers are highly mobile and they deal burst damage thanks to their quick movements. Since they also have low cooldowns, it's easy for them to efficiently get in and out of combat. If you enjoy playing a class that isn't too squishy, has decent mobility, and deals massive damage with kicks and combos, then the Striker is a great class for you. War Dancers, on the other hand, utilize Light Gauntlets as their weapon. They're known to be one of the fastest classes out there because of their swift attack speed and mobility, which are the qualities they share with the Striker. However, the caveat of playing this class is how vulnerable they are to damage since they need to be up close and personal to be able to make full use of their melee skills. 
This is also the reason why it's difficult to choose them for new players because they would need to react quickly to dodge enemy attacks while managing cooldowns. When you get the hang of playing this class, it becomes a satisfying experience overall due to the amount of speedy combos you're able to pull off. If you enjoy the thrill of high-speed combat while efficiently evading attacks at the same time, then the War Dancer would be the perfect class for you. Scrappers are a good all-around class for beginners because of the big hits they execute, which are not difficult to learn. Even if they don't move as agile as the War Dancer, they still manage to deal significant heavy damage with their heavy gauntlets. Another thing to be mindful of is that their skills consume chi. This is the reason why it's essential to familiarize yourself with the best order of skills to activate in order to maximize power and to balance your chi. Soul Fists are considered as the jack of all trades because they have a little bit of everything, but they're also a master of none. They're a highly mobile class with lots of skills to choose from that allow them to deal melee and range damage. As such, Soul Fists are a tough class to play, but its appeal is for those who enjoy a ton of variety in their builds. If you're interested in dealing precise damage from afar using technologically innovative weapons and bows, then the Gunner class could be for you. It has four advanced classes, namely the Gunslinger, Deadeye, Artillerist, and Sharpshooter. Gunslingers and Deadeyes are roughly the same advanced class, but with gender differences and distinct weapon focuses. They wield three weapons, the Sniper Rifle, Shotgun, and Pistols, to deal damage from any distance, either very far from or near their targets. Compared to Deadeyes, Gunslingers have a better set of Sniper Rifle skills and that let them maintain their distance safely. On the other hand, Deadeyes are more adept at handling the shotgun and allowing them to inflict twice the damage in melee range. Additionally, both are considered to be difficult to pilot since their glass cannons and their weapon swap mechanics take a long time to get used to. They also require fast response times to trigger skills. So if you wish to give yourself a challenge, then you can go for the Gunslinger or Deadeye Advanced classes. Artillerists wield a versatile and heavy machine gun with the ability to transform into a flamethrower and rocket launcher. Due to the size of these guns, Artillerists move slower. Not only are they the tankiest gunner class, but they also have a good balance between short and mid-range skills. However, they'll need to master its execution since they'll be targeting specific areas. As such, enemies can easily evade and run away from its AoEs. It takes a lot of getting used to since you need to experiment with the timing and positioning of your skills, but if you're able to pull it off, the damage you inflict will be massive. So if you prefer to play as a slow but tanky character with the capability of dealing great damage by carefully controlling the placement of your skills, then the Artillerist is good for you. Sharpshooters use unique bows to be able to target enemies from a very far distance. They're also aided by their pet similar to the classic Ranger. The caveat to playing this class is it's susceptible to damage so you'll have to maintain a greater distance to keep your character safe at all times. Sharpshooters have good mobility, and if you happen to have great aim, then you should consider picking this class. If you want to play as a hybrid support class to cast buffs from a distance while healing wounded allies and using spells to inflict lethal damage, then the Mage class is your best bet. It has two advanced classes, which are the Bard and Summoner. Bards are the first support class in Lost Ark, followed by Paladins. They wield a harp to execute a variety of ranged damage and support skills like heals, buffs, and shields. Compared to Paladins, Bards are more effective at helping the party survive combat encounters. Similarly, they're tougher to play due to the awareness you need to cultivate in terms of casting spells at the most critical moments. Bards are the ideal class with a relatively lower skill ceiling that's best suited for assisting allies. Summoners wield a staff to summon multiple pets with different functionalities, making them highly flexible. For instance, you can make them charge at an enemy on your behalf. The summoner is another great class to play as a beginner due to the damage dealt by their spells and pets. Furthermore, they're not vulnerable, so they won't die easily unlike most mages and other RPGs. If you're the type of player who manipulates the forces of darkness to perform quick and roguelike attacks, then the Assassin is the ideal class for you. Similar to the Mage, it also has two advanced classes, which are the Shadow Hunter and Deathblade. Like Soul Fist, Shadow Hunters inflict effective damage from melee and ranged distances. What's interesting and cool about them is their ability to shapeshift into their demonic versions and deal chaotic damage. Additionally, they're very straightforward and balanced when it comes to their semi-aggressive playstyle, making them one of the best classes for a new player. Deathblades wield three swords that enable them to come up with rapid and highly damaging combos at point-blank range. Despite dealing a thousand cuts, however, their HPs are rather low, which makes them attentive about what their next moves would be in order to remain alive. If you find excitement in engaging in fast-paced combat while taking on the challenge of surviving for longer periods of time, then the Deathblade would be a perfect fit for you. Final thoughts. Choosing the ideal class for your main character may be a bit daunting due to the strengths and weaknesses you have to consider. However, narrowing it down to the playstyle you prefer, whether it's participating in fast-paced combat or assisting your party, will help you decide which among the 15 advanced classes is right for you. Out of all of them, though, the best advanced classes that you should think about if you're a new player are the Berserker, Scrapper, Sharpshooter, Summoner, and Shadow Hunter. With the Berserker, the goal is to fill up their Rage Meter as soon as possible by constantly attacking mobs of enemies to eventually deal greater damage. This is the ultimate melee DPS class that's safe to play since they're not glass cannons. For the Scrapper, their skills are simple to use because they don't have to manage their mana. Instead, they need to balance their Chi, which is easier to do. Scrappers are the agile counterpart of the Berserker. 
Next is the Sharpshooter that has decent mobility and excellent DPS uptime thanks to their pet allowing them to inflict massive range damage with their bows. The Summoner, on the other hand, also controls AI but in the form of minions to perform actions in addition to their spells. They're not vulnerable because of their shields and ideal mid-range positioning. Last but not least is the Shadow Hunter who is adept at dealing as much damage as possible when they transform into their demonic selves. On top of this, they also gain extra HP, making them a bit tankier than other classes. Stay tuned for more Lost Ark content and be sure to check out our Lost Ark wiki if you have questions about the game. So what will your first class be? Are you guys looking forward to playing the Lost Ark beta? We're going to have a ton of codes to give away for this game, so make sure you head over to Twitch and sign up for that, or sign up for it on the wiki homepage.